I always have lipstick on my teeth. Attractive. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. For those who don't know me, my name is Kristen Martin. I'm an international Amazon bestselling indie author, a writing and business success coach, a podcaster, a YouTuber. Essentially, when you put all of that together, I am what you would call a creative entrepreneur. I just love creating content. Today's video is going to be part two of my reading list for 2019. In case you missed part one, I will link it up in the cards for you, so make sure you go watch that. But for someone who constantly seems to be adding to her TBR list, I am so proud to say that I have made a massive dent in these first three months of 2019. My original goal was to read at a minimum two books a month, one fiction, one nonfiction, more or less in the personal development space. and. I'm averaging three books a month right now, so pat on the back. <laughs> in addition to the books I read in February, Radical Self Love and Strange the Dreamer, I also read Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, just to kind of give you a little update here so you know what other books I read. More of a contemporary, had the romantic aspect. I don't know, maybe that's because it was you know, the month of love, Valentine's Day. And then in March, if you watched last week's video, you will know that I also read Warcross. And very shortly after I finished Warcross, I read it in a 24 hour period, I picked up the sequel, which is Wild Card. Both of those are by Marie Lu. So actually March was a four book month for me. So in part two of this reading list, I will be sharing with you the books on my TBR for May, June, July, and August. First up for the month of May, which also happens to be my birthday month. I'm so excited. I will be turning 31 this year. So I'm sticking with fiction, nonfiction, and who knows, maybe I'll add a third book in here. We shall see. But my fiction pick for the month of May, and I'm so excited because I didn't even know that Colleen Hoover had another new book. So I was just blown away when I found out about this called Verity by Colleen Hoover. And it looks like it's gonna be kind of creepy. So the main character is a struggling writer on the brink of financial ruin, and another, a best-selling author, ends up hiring her to complete the remaining books in a successful series that his injured wife is unable to finish. So I just think this is gonna be a really cool concept. I think it's gonna be a little bit darker, but the fact that it is, you know, revolves around writers, I'm like, I love to write, so of course, of course I wanna read about writers. <laughs> Anything with books inside a book is good by me. And my nonfiction pick for May is Present Over Perfect. This is by Shauna Nyquist, 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 leaving behind frantic for a simpler, more soulful way of living. Again, birthday month. This is just gonna be such a good, such good reads for May. I'm so excited for May to be here. <laughs> and for the month of June, you'll probably notice that shelf right there is looking a little bit empty, but that's because over the summer, I will be going on a Sarah J. Moss binge, and I'm so excited for it. So, I am really behind in the Throne of Glass, in the Throne of Glass series. I got this book signed at LeviosaCon. <sighs> what year was that? 2016? Oh my goodness. I've had this book for a while. It's a beast of a book, but I really love what I read so far of the Throne of Glass series, so I need to really get on my A-game and read these books. So Queen of Shadows is my fiction pick for June, and then my non-fiction pick. So this book is called Cozy by Isabel Gillies. I don't know how to say her name. It is the art of arranging yourself in the world, which is such like a vague, I don't know, it's such a vague statement, but I also understand exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> So I'll just read you the first paragraph because I know this might look and sound very confusing. When we talk about being cozy, most of us think of a favorite sweater or a steaming cup of tea on a rainy afternoon. Ugh, the imagery. <laughs> but to Isabel Gillies, coziness goes beyond mere objects. To be truly cozy, Gillies believes it's essential to identify the truth of who you are and carry it with you into your day, no matter the environment. Gillies has mastered the art and subtle beauty of creating spaces where you feel safe, steady, and at home in your corner of the world. This wise, necessary book is a call to action for each of us to seek out those often missed chances to create a world for ourselves where we feel safe, delighted even, when life is hard. So, yeah. I read that and I was like, I just want this book. I want this book in my life and I'm really excited to read it. Moving on to July, my fiction pick, no surprise here, 
Empire of Storms, the book after Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. So I don't really need to say much about this because you already know I'm going on a little Sarah J Maas binge over the summer. My nonfiction pick is White Hot Truth by Danielle Laporte. I started reading this a little while ago and then stopped for some reason. I think life just picked up and got really, really busy, but I made it halfway through, but I'm gonna completely start over and reread it. I follow Danielle Laporte on Instagram and just love every, she's like one of my favorite personal development people, gurus. I just, I love everything she puts out there. She's so much about like your soul Ah, just your soul. She gives me all the feels, all the vibes. So I'm looking forward to diving into this one again. And then last but not least, we have the month of August. No surprise here, fiction pick, Kingdom of Ash. Sarah J Moss and I will finally finish, which is actually really sad to think about. Maybe that's why I've been putting it off because I don't want to finish the series. Like I do, I wanna know what happens. But I remember when this book came out, I feel like everyone was very emotional, just like, so I'm gonna be in for a real <laughs> a real treat in finishing this series and then my nonfiction pick for August is when's happy hour by bitches I follow it's hard to say bitches and take yourself seriously but I follow that account on Instagram and it anything they post it just brings a smile to my face and these girls have built this gigantic empire I think this book will be the perfect way to close out all of the summer vibes as we head into fall. So that concludes part two of my 2019 reading list. I'm curious, have you read any of the books that I just mentioned? Do any of these sound interesting enough to you where you'd want to go pick them up? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Real quick before I sign off, I wanna let you know that my signature business program for creative entrepreneurs called Elevate will be opening again for enrollment at the later part of this month. And I know this video is going up on April Fools. This is not an April Fools, <laughs> this is not an April Fools joke. I will be opening up enrollment again in three weeks exactly on April 22nd. So if you want to learn more about that program and what it has to offer, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. BookCon 2019 will be here before we know it and I will be attending as an author and exhibitor this year. I will be in booth number 3025 selling and signing copies of all of my books. So I really hope to see you there. It is June 1st and 2nd in New York City. Tickets are on sale now. You can find the link in the description box below. If you are not already, make sure you are following me on Instagram. I will leave it right here in this corner. I tend to post a lot of just behind the scenes sneak peeks as to what I've got going on during my days. And I post, I post to social media pretty much every day, whereas I only post to YouTube once a week. If you enjoyed today's video, I would truly appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell that will send you email notifications to your inbox whenever I upload new videos. I hope you guys have a great start to your week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!